in the first part i told you about different characters in this story mridu her aunt rukumani her grandmother tapi cousins lali ravi meena the kitten which was named as mahendran by ravi music teacher and the beggar so you might have understood that when beggar pleaded and children came to know about his miserable condition mridu shows her concern for the beggar by suggesting that they should arrange an old pair of chappas for him in the meantime the beggar got up and looked out at the road which was shimmering with the afternoon heat concern that the poor man would walk with those bare feet the children thought of somehow giving him the slippers but their own feet were much smaller so they had to find someone else slippers going inside the house quietly to find a suitable pair bridu noticed the same worn out slippers which she saw when she entered inside the house they were last slippers laying at the door which she had seen earlier she inquired about the owner of this pair ravi thought them to be the correct size for the beggar and picking them up put them before the beggar he told him to leave and not return the beggar quickly put them on and left hurriedly now the children were playing marbles quite innocently when the music teacher came out and looked around for his chappas he asked lali about it and they both search for the missing slippers all around the veranda the children was the silently the music master was in distress complaining that the pair were new and cost him a month's fees the matter was conveyed to ruku mani means that the teacher complained it to ruku mani and she was equally upset grandmother thought a vendor could have stolen them that there might be somebody else who had come to their home and might have stolen them rukumani look at the children under the tree seeing them to be quiet asked them if they had seen anybody in the veranda she had just it to be the children's mischief because she was wise mridu told her that a beggar had come with sores on his feet and they had given him the slippers so what do you think was it appropriate to give slippers to the beggar without asking anyone at home our elders will be able to judge it better if the person is really needy and if the article should be given away they could think of a better way perhaps to help the person moreover as it is our elders in the family who provide us our needs they should have the final say on whether we give our things away or not so thank you have a nice day